you probably heard about SanDisk, Prograde and all these other manufacturers out there that produces memory cards. But have you heard about the Austrian company called Angelbird? If not, here is why all my memory cards are nowadays from this company. First of all, these memory cards are super reliable. Angelbird offer so many different kinds of memory cards. Also for the Atomos Ninja, for instance, like the SSD, so you don't need a caddy anymore. I do have an SD card here in combination with my Sony A7C Mark II or a CF Express Type A card for my A7 IV. And to be honest, I never heard about this company until I went into a photo store in Frankfurt last year and they recommended me this memory card for my Canon camera. At the moment, I'm shooting on the Canon EOS R3 and here's the Canon EOS R5 Mark II and both of them are using a CF Express Type B card. In this case, I have a terabyte inside my R3 and I have also a terabyte for my EOS R5 Mark II. It's also available in two terabytes, four terabytes, 512 gigabytes. I think there's 160 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, a terabyte, two terabytes and even four terabytes if you want to use that for your RED camera. And the reason why I have a terabyte is first of all, I can store a lot of data on it. It doesn't really matter if it's video or photo content and the price. Can you imagine you get this memory card for about 300 bucks with 1785 mbits? That's already the Mark II version, which I use already for more than a year now. For me, it's so important to have a terabyte because I used to take a lot of event photos like weddings, nightclub photography, and per night, if I'm in a club for about two hours, I roughly take about two to two and a half thousand photos in RAW. First of all, I use the continue shooting mode to get the authentic moment where you can really see the emotions of the people while they are celebrating or the DJ while he's making a cool move, for instance. And I'm not gonna take these photos with one or two frames per second. I'm gonna take like the full burst mode of my camera. So sometimes I keep pressing the shutter button for two or three seconds while taking 12 photos in a raw per second. That's why you need a fast read and write speed why do I use a terabyte? I mean, 512 gigabyte would be fine, 160 gigabyte would be fine as well for an evening. But the important thing is that I keep my data on that CF Express Type B card. I do have also the CF Express Type A card, one terabyte for my Sony A7 IV, and it gives me a lot of freedom. First of all, let's say I'm in a nightclub, I take 3000 RAWs. On this memory card here, I go home, I take this card reader here from Sanders with a super fast readout speed connected to my computer in combination with that card and then I see a folder with all the images. Then I can rename this folder, let's say restaurant or club and then I drag and drop these raw files into Adobe Lightroom but I keep them on the memory card so I'm not gonna transfer them onto my computer. That saves me a lot of space on my MacBook and I have a four terabyte version. However, if I have multiple projects which I'm working on, it sometimes happens that I use three to four terabytes already on my MacBook and I don't wanna waste it with all the data with projects that come in between. So I keep the data on the card and if you rename the folder and you drag and drop them into Adobe Lightroom but keep the files on the memory card, they don't appear on the camera anymore but they're still here on the memory card. So you can work on them, you can edit all the images, you can export them to JPEG, send them to your customer via WeTransfer, OneNote, Google Drive or Dropbox. Once your customer has paid you for that job, you can delete the folder on here including the raw files if you don't want to keep the raw files forever or you want to have a backup somewhere else. But that's the way I do it. So that's the reason why I love to have a lot of storage here on the CF Express Type B card. Then I have also the SD card here from Angelbird. As you can see, you got pins on the upper side and on the lower side, and that's a V90 card. It's kind of expensive, to be honest, to buy a V90 card, but you cannot use the full potential of your camera if you don't have a fast 
memory card like this one here. So it doesn't allow you to shoot slow motion or 4K 50 or 60 or in a log profile if you don't use a fast memory card like this. So that's a V90 card, you can get it also in a double pack. And to be honest, I wish that I would have purchased a 256 gigabyte card because 128 gigabyte um, are getting full in a really short amount of time during one event. So the next time I'm gonna get a higher version, there's also a 512 gigabyte version and a terabyte version, but I guess that's not V90, I guess that's only V60. But in order to take slow motion and to use the full continuous shooting here on this camera, you need the V90 card. So that's only available in 64, 128 and 256 gigabytes. I have also the Angel Bird card for my Insta360 Ace Pro and the X4. So if you're looking for a new memory card, make sure to check out Angel Bird. And they do have also a kind of a cool gadget for the iPhone 15 and 16. They brought out a reader for this memory card here, which you can attach to your iPhone 15 or 16 Pro using USB Type-C so you can record 4K in a log profile now and save the files directly onto the card and then you can go to your computer, plug it in and read out all the files. Link in the video description below. Thank you very much for your undivided attention. If you do have any further questions, please make sure to leave a comment below. All the best from Frankfurt. See you next time on Tschüss.